the way of the Kuso Noha. Chapter 6. And welcome back, everyone, for the next part of Devil Summoner 2. After the world kind of uh, entered the day of misfortune because we got overrun by a lot of swarm that has joined chainsaws in their freaking heads! <laughs> We have a lot of fixing to do today, huh? Yeah, totally. Can we even go safely back home? Probably not, right? <laughs> the capital's luck has gone bad, like day old milk. Thanks to that luck lotus. The things going wrong left and right. The people of the capitals are starting to despair. They have lost faith in the gods and the world they made. And I don't even know what to think about. There's being a whole separate world from ours. One filled with negative energy. A place where only despair can drive. The abyssal realm. Hmm. It's hard to believe, but the gate to the abyssal realm has opened up there in the sky. A whole swarm of Apollyon flew down through it too. What can the people of the capital do about something like that? Nothing. We are powerless with only one sword. Whether we like it or not, that gate is like a big red eye staring us right in the face. And this whole hopeless mess all happened because Dan was trying to give his village some hope. And his sister. When his luck lotus were full from eating the capital's luck, they go back to the Tendo Sanctuary. They dump it off in that nest they built down there, right? The Pony Dawn, it was called. Yeah, when the Pony Dawn gets nice and big, that's the cue for the destroyer insect to come. And sure enough, those Apollyon came down from the sky. That is what Dan's plan was from the start to use his Fukuroshi power to control the Apollyon insects. He made himself king over the Apollyon. The King Abaddon, to be precise. But that didn't work out because they don't listen to him. Now those Apollyon are supposed to be the servant of this great Ma, the Tender Lord thinks so highly of. If Dan became King Abaddon and controls the Apollyon, he would be on Ma's level. And he thought by doing that, he would break the Tender Lord clan's strangled hold over the Tsukigata village and set them free. They ruled over the village as its god, as if he could become a god himself, he would take the village back. He hoped to save his sister Akana, who was about to be wit I mean sacrificed, really, to the Tender Lords. But where Dan saw hope for himself, his village, and his sister, his action ended up bringing despair on the capital. He's feeling responsible now for the people's despair, so he despaired a bit himself. And that is where we left off. Oh, Dan. King Abaddon is nothing but a big red hole. They came from the gate to the abyssal realm, a spark for despair all over the world. That ain't what I thought King Abaddon was gonna be at all. And I did this. I brought something that horrible to the capital. It was Apollyon I called. They're wrecking the capital right now. And I got nothing about the deal. I can't save my dad, the villagers, or Akana. I tried my dance. I broke the village code. Broke out of the broke out the luck lotus and But all of that was it just running in circles? Hell spells Done I can't even show my face anymore. I wish I could just disappear. Ray? Oh, freaking God! <laughs> Slipping away. Ray! Why are you always calling me in the worst times possible? First 
at the end of or at the beginning of the last chapter. Then we encountered that freaking bug thing. Now that I have a meeting with Dan, you, you just you can't just keep calling me like this. At least give me a previous warning, a notice, an invitation. <laughs> you can't just drag me over here every time you want to. This isn't how it works. I have things to do. Right, Rhino? We have things to do. Imagine if Dan got away now. We have to talk. But then again, I don't think he's gonna run from us. Not at this point of time anymore. But still. This is about principle right now. <laughs> this is a principle. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> well. Oh. Oh, you took Dan's form now. A man in a red shin up ball wearing a Shinoda mask is standing before Rido. Well. Now Rumi's here as well. A man in a vest wearing a Shinoda mask is standing before Rido. Don't be so hard on yourself, Dan. Sure, you summoned the gate to the Abyssal Realm. But if that's the action it took to take hold of your future, then it can't be wrong. Or rather, call it wrong. Hmm? Uh, the Shinoda mask turned upside down before Ryder's eye. The Shinoda mask of sorrow. Looks like that changed to be a, filled, a face filled of a anger? Huh? A man in a vest wearing a Shinoda mask is standing before Raido. The Shinoda mask the man is wearing looks like a face filled with anger. Okay. If I keep beating around the bush, you will never get it done. So I'm going to be frank. Are you angry now? What were you thinking? Opening the gate to Abyssal Realm? It's all because of this action you took. If you hadn't tried taking hold of your future... Hey, take a look. See what mess the capital is in. How are you going to make up for that? Huh? Tell me, King Arbadon. And... Ty is here as well? A modern girl wearing a Shinoda mask is standing before Raido. The Shinoda mask the woman is wearing looks like a, fil a face filled with anger. Is this because I picked anger during the last option? Hey, Dan! Or should I call yourself King Abaddon? You opened the gate to the Abyssal Realm for Kana's sake and for the future of the Sukigata village. And now you're lost in despair as a result of your own action. Wow, what a joke. <sighs> yeah, I can't say otherwise. You're right. Maybe, instead of taking actions and ending up like this, I should have just done nothing. Kana, your bro, he tried. I'm going on ahead. I see you in the afterlife. Seriously? You're just going to give up like that? A student wearing a Shinoda mask is standing before Raido. Now it's us. You, who have been playing the role of Raido, and witnessed the spectacle. This is it. The words I'm about to impart to you. The words of the sorrowful-filled face. My final words. The gate to the abyssal realm has opened. Man has fallen into despair. Despair, in other words. That is man's despair. Of the world God has created. Man can no longer see a future in this world God made. The fate of man once he had lost hope for the future. Yes? Uh. What happened? The student wearing the Shinoda mask fell for, before Raido. I'm sorry. It seems it is time soon... Soon the aspect of my anger will show his face. The aspect of my anger over the despair that the people have fallen into. 
I hope Ray, who has assumed the role of Rydal, you can be their hope. Become man's hope. Did- You are stepping on yourself! A student wearing the Shinoda mask appears in front of Rydal. The student wearing the Shinoda mask is stepping on the student wearing the other mask. It's you, isn't it? You're the so-called hope my aspect of sorrow found. Yeah? You, who have been playing the role of Rydal and witnessed the spectacle. Unfortunate one, the spark of your misfortune. It's the fact that you have assumed the role of Rydal, Reynara. You have been blinded by the truth. All actions in this world are meaningless. It's because of people clinging so tightly to hope that they despair. You will learn that all hope in this world is simply a spark to ignite the flames of despair. The pathetic sight of a creature beneath my heel should tell you that much. Ugh. Can you fight? Aren't you the same mask? But you needn't worry, Reynara. The aspect of anger has arrived in order to become your salvation. Listen now to my message of salvation. Your message? Cease your assumption of the role of Rydal and witness the spectacle no more. Do you understand? Go home. Further witness of the spectacle. It will lead only to despair. There's no reason to willingly take despair upon yourself. Yes? I mean, we can still turn it around, right? We have the sword, we can fight back! Abandon the role of Rydal. Turn away from the spectacle. That will be your salvation. Do you understand? You must abandon Rydal, Reynara. Hmm. Rydal? Rydal! Huh? Is it time? Are you able to get me back again? Because I think I just saw something that I didn't want to see. He's literally fighting himself. The anger and the sadness. Huh. Maybe... Maybe I should have really picked grief after all. Yeah, I should have picked grief. Oh, you're awake. Hey, Ty. Thank goodness. No matter how many times I called, you just... Wouldn't seem to come too, and the room filled me in. You passed out at the Corada Yama radio tower, right? Yeah. <gasps> Dan is here as well! I saw him! Right behind you! Hey, Rado is awake? Good timing. Are you thirsty? Yeah, I might want to take a glass. We finally back on coffee. I pick up a fresh bag of beans at Konya Ya. I went the extra mile making this pot. Since we've got a guest who never had an Arumi special blend before. Right, Dan? Are you... are you alright? Mm. Hey, this Joker has been a wet blanket ever since he, we hold him here and... Uh, uh, he got all sore when he wasn't able to become King Abaddon, you know? Yeah, I saw. And we can't just leave him to his own device either, so... Here he is! <laughs> Here's yours, Ty. Drink up. It's, it will suit your nerves. The trip over here must have been pretty hair-rising, right? Having to go through a swarm of monsters and all. Thanks, Ruby, but I don't let stuff like that rattle me. However... Hmm? I heard something on the radio about those Loctus monsters. They are wreaking havoc all over the capital. There's been a lot of injuries, even some deaths. I saw that. Seems like they've flown off somewhere for now. So all is quiet in our capital, but... The red hole in the sky, where the monsters came from, is still there. It's like a big eye that never stops watching us. Though nothing happened with it so far. But in a way, that creased me out even more. It's like we're stuck in a limbo. It's not the best feeling. You can say that again. 
I noticed when I was out getting beans, the people outside seemed, you know, strange. They were looking up at the sky, grumbling. That red hole caused trouble just by being there. If we ignore it, the people of the capital, uh, capitals are in for one-way trips to crazy town. But what can we do? We're talking about a hole in the sky here. Not a stray cat in the alley, right? There is something. It might be a long shot, but it's better than nothing, right? Hmm? You have an idea? What? You mean that stuff you were talking about when Ryder was cook, uh, knocked out? The children's song from Sukigata Village. What about it? Was there something? That's the one. That is what I came all the way here for the swarm of lotus monsters for. Just to tell you that... That... When we went to the Sukigata village, I heard the children's song. And I realized, the rook was over the lotus monster. Everything that happened to now. All of it. It's all there in the words of the song. I'm afraid you've lost me. What do you mean? Look, I can explain it pretty easily. Though there are some parts I'm not so sure of. Hmm? What did you two call that thing? An investigational meeting, right? Let's have one of those, and I'll explain how the children's song is connected to these monsters. Righto. You know the song, right? Of course you do. I was watching you when the girls in the Sukigata taught it to you. Help me out, okay? I'm ready for the investigational meeting when you are. Do you want to start right now? Yeah, sure. I mean, even if I didn't, you guys would force me either way, right? I wouldn't be able to leave. I just wouldn't be able to leave. <laughs> the Capitals Dailies, Ace Reporter, and our own Ryder Kusanoha, matching wits at last. A meeting's not a meeting without a fresh cup of mud, I say. <laughs> I go pour some. Now, that's in the room in Detective Agent's Chief that I know. Okay. So, hokey it's time to take a look at the children's song of the Sukigata village. Right. So, what did you notice? Is this the full song? Stop the fretful's baby wail, take from the earth the moons of pale, feed the baby his meals frail. Feed the baby its meal frail. Is, are the babies maybe the luck lotus that we feed with luck? Maybe. Man, the sky is watching you like the hole. When the sky is pierced right through, you will sleep at Great Mars Bosom too. No idea how that's going to connect, but the people are currently being watched by the hole in the, in the sky. And because there's a hole in the sky, we could almost say that it is pierced. Not entirely sure about the sleeping part. Don't let the fretful baby cry. Marvel cut you to shred and you will die. Marvel rip you apart and you will die. If you keep the baby in the cage, that's going to come after you. The baby has to be the luck lotus then. That's the only reason. So if you treat the luck lotus well, you're going to be spared by Ma. But how is this song going to help us die? <laughs> How is that going to help us? Okay, so here's the first thing I wanted to take a look at. Okay, let's see. What did you notice? Take from the earth the moons are pale. Okay. See the part that I highlighted in red? Talking about the moon being on the earth seems strange. It has to be a metaphor for something. So I thought about it and I realized the Suki is one way of saying moon. And where have we heard that before? The Sukigata family? Exactly. Not that hard of a jump when you realize what's going on, is it? Take from the earth the Sukigatas of Pale? You usually say Getsu for moon, but place an alternative pronunciation were com uh, common in old days. This is all just a folklore buff hunch, mind you. But children's songs are often based on reality. Ring around the rosy and the plague plague, for example. Thank goodness. I was not 100% sure, but 
now I know you're with me on this. Anyways, moving on. Mm -hmm. The Sukigata Village. So I marked the moon as being a reference to the Sukigata Village uh, family for now. Next is the baby. Look at the feet line after it. If I'm right, and this has to do with the Sukigata family, what would this metaphor be for feeding the baby the moon? It sounds to me like some sort of ritual. What do you think? If this is a ritual where the Sukigata is eaten, what would it be? The marriage ritual, maybe? Right, the marriage ritual. Or well, that is what they called it, at least. You were the one who told me, right? According to the Sukigata family's tradition, Akana became something like a sacrifice. But I thought the baby was supposed to be the luck lotus. But it's actually the marriage ritual? But if the baby cries, the luck lotus cries, they get shredded and cut, right? The moon and the earth, that's the Sukigata family. What it's really talking about is the way the Sukigata's daughter is sacrificed at the ritual. Huh, not bad, Ty. Now that you mention it, I can see how the song is about the marriage ritual. But what I don't see is yet what all this has to do with what's going on in the capital. Hold your horses, I'm going to get to that part. This is an important part. I highlight it in red so you can see what I mean. Watch this. Okay. When the sky is pierced right through. That's the important part? That's what I said. Listen. A pierced sky. Doesn't that remind you just a little of what's going on above the capital right now? Tell him, Raido. What's in the sky now that everyone's so worried about? The red hole, right? See? You figured it out. And talking about that giant hole in the sky. The red hole in the sky where those lo lotus monsters came from. The gate to the abyssal realm. Then there's this part about the great Ma. I'll circle it in red so you can see what I mean. You will sleep at great Ma? No wait, the red hole over the capital. Ma comes up twice in the song. And so does Sky. Yes? Let's assume for now that I'm right and say that the pierced sky refers to the red hole up there. Now look at this. Pay close attention to the part I'm going to highlight in red. Okay. Ma, ma. Ma will cut you to shred and you will die. Ma will rip you apart and you will die. The chainsaw. These two lines about Ma are about the disaster Ma is going to cause, right? So the Ma in the sky, cutting you to shred and ripping you apart. Couldn't you see that it's that as a lotus monster coming from the sky and killing the people? Yes. The song's been passed down from generations to generations, and now we see what this, what it really means. Hmm. And that's how you should uh, show a connection between the children's song and the lotus monster. It may be reaching, but what do you fellas think? I think you're onto something, Ty. I thought it was riveting. Then that about does it. Time we wrap up this meeting, huh? Wait, what about the baby? The baby! Are we going to talk about the fact that the baby might have something to do with the luck lotus? Are we just going to skip over the baby? Okay, fine, fine. I guess the luck lotus is no longer important anymore. <laughs> okay, so, like I was saying, if we want to deal with the red hole in the sky, we need to look at that children's song for answers. It's not a sure bet, but it's our only lead, right? No, you're right. I don't have any better ideas at the moment. Wait a second. I need to forgot about Dan. We're in luck. We could always ask him about it. Dan, you're from the Sukigata village. Is there anything you can tell us about the children's song? We need your help to save the capital. Dan? Sorry, but... I can't help you as far as that goes. 
I know the song, but all I can do is sing it for you again. Oh, fiddle stick. Looks like they have to make a trip out to the Sukigata village again. It won't help any with puzzling out the song, but if it's for the sake of the capital... You can hit me all you want. What? After all, I'm the one who caused the capital into this mess. So come on! Hit me! Wait, Dan? Huh. He'll be fine, Ty. Just leave him alone for now. It's like you said. We'd best get ourselves to Tsukigata village. We stand a better chance of saving the capital that way than sitting here and sucking on our our thumbs, right? True. Right -o. I need you to head out to Tsukigata and poke around about the song. Sorry, but you will have to go solo on that one. I've got my own work to do here. I'm going to round up all the insect cages left in the capital. The one with the luck lotus, I mean. Aren't you going to paint yourself a giant target that way? I mean, sure, you need to take care of them, otherwise more people are going to die, but still! This might be a bit too dangerous for you. We know for sure that the Lotus Monster, the Apollyon, are after those cages. How about it, Dan? You up for a buck hunt? Better than shutting yourself up here, isn't it? Come on, at least help a little bit. I know you're not motivated, but a little bit. I go with Friday to Sukigata village. Half for the capital. And half cause uh, I just gotta get to the bottom of that song. True. I know you. Your mind's made up. And there's no force in the capital that can change it at this point. Take good care of her. Okay, Raido? Of course! Too bad we won't have time for sightseeing, huh? It's just the two of us, so watch my back, okay? Well... We've got the beginning of a plan. I'm going up for the roof for a moment. Hey, Raido. Hmm? Want to have a little chat? If you feel like it, I'll be waiting up at the roof. Hmm. All set, Raido? I'm ready when you are. When you got your things together, let's go to Sugata Village. I think... I think Narumi wants to have a little talk with us before anything else. When you're set, Raido, let's hurry to the Sukigata village. Yeah, yeah, we can do that, we can do that, it's just, uh... I think, I think Narumi wants a little one-on-one -on -one talk with us, right? Yeah, there yeah, there, buddy. Sorry to call you out here like this, Raido. What's up? You remember the marriage ceremony at uh, Sukigata village some time back? When I kind of went through with it to maintain the family's ties to the Tender Lords, you know, meanwhile, Dan was fighting to get rid of that decrepit old ritual. Thing is, they both had the village's best interests at heart, and neither was necessarily in the wrong. Yeah. You told me at the time that things have to be better, and that's worth fighting for. That is why I wanted to talk to you about this. Do you have a plan now? Anyways, I wanted to talk to you about Dan. Hmm? The thing that he did to the capital, the stuff it's your mission to protect against, and... I understand that it is your duty now to turn Dan over to the Yatakarasu. But still... Wait, I have to do that? Don't I have to worry about other things first? <laughs> With all the people out there who think only for themselves, the courage to risk it all for someone else. This might sound strange to say, but Dan really opened my eyes to something there. It probably helps that we know that Dan was really fighting for. I don't know, what do you think about the whole thing, Raido? How do you see the guy? Is he a bleeding heart who's bent over backward to help people, or... A tyrant who will stop at nothing to get his hand on what he wants? He can't be both, so... which is it? Well, he was laughing like a maniac during the summoning process, but I think that was just his overjoyous self. I think deep down, very very deep down, 
he's probably a very kind-hearted gentleman. I mean, the Fukuroshi also said that they had a huge amount of respect for him. He wasn't always a maniac. So sure. I guess you're right. What they did to the captain was wrong, but... It was all an act on behalf of Akana and the people of Tsukigata village. We know what he was really up to. If anyone should understand him, it's us. It's like you said, Raido. Dan's a stand-up guy at heart. I was thinking the same thing. <sighs> oh, I didn't mean to take up all of the time drawing like this. What we need to do right now is getting more information from the gate to the abyss. Tai seems to think that we can get a clue from the children's song of the Sukigata village. Yeah, she did mention that. And like I said before, I will stay here in the capital and track down the remaining Luck Lotus. I can't leave Dan here alone, right? It would be better if he had a fellow bachelor keeping him company for now. Rido, I'm sending you out to Tsukigata village and take Tai with you, okay? We might be in for some rough water, but if things go south, you can protect her, right? Of course I can. Don't worry about a thing. And also, say hi to Girin and Nagi. And of course, Sukigatos for me. Ah, don't worry about a thing. I'm going to say hello to everyone. Because I really need to know what happened. How did Dan get out of his cell? What exactly happened, right? <laughs> a massive swarm of giant lotus suddenly came from the hole in the capital sky. I asked Raido about the situation when he and I were bombing around the Sukigata village. He's a valuable source. He tells me that the hole is the gate to abyssal realm, and the lotus are Apollyon. Mm hmm? Apollyon's on the level of a tornado or an earthquake. When they hit, they cause a lot of casualties. The gate to the abyssal realm is still staring down on us from the sky over this capital. It would be inhumane of me to ignore the capital's suffering, its fear and despair. Armed with a heroic attitude on top of my natural inquisitive folklore's mind. Not to mention the connection we made between the children's song and the Polyon's attack. Raido and I went back to the Sukigata village to do some, uh, rather to do some further research into their folklore. Once again, the interpret Kicho Asakura set foot into the strange world of the Sukigata. <laughs> And I guess we went there right away. Are there less people around here? Huh. We're here, quaint old Sukigata village. If you want to know more about the folklore, we should ask someone who knows the village history. My money's on the village chief, the good old Akejiro. But am I not so is there something funny about the place this time? Yeah. There are a lot less people around. I mean, at the very least, the shop is still there, but who is everyone else? Don't you think it's too quiet? There's not a single person out of the door. What's the matter? No one wants to welcome Miss Kicho after her long trip to the uh, from the capital, I mean? Oh. Step back, Ty. This one is on me. <laughs> That's one. That one is my guest. What? No way! Isn't that a monster that was flying around the capital? I guess they followed Luck Lotus, huh? Oh yes, they did. Apollyon? Why is it out here in the Sukigata village? We take one step off the bus and we're facing down an Apollyon? How lucky can we get? As I said, Ty, don't worry about a thing, I got this. I got this! <laughs> I got this! I have Makami! I have Makami and my other guys here as well! And I'm pretty sure they hear me! Right? Certainly! My sword still has an effect, hopefully? If not, that would be horrendous. Okay, start with the normal attack. War cry. Come on, get the electric going. Thank you. Thank you very much! I need that! Keep on going! I think he's going for an attack! Oh no, never mind! He's not! 
He's just trying to scratch my other guy that he can't really do anything about. Which is good. It's a really good start. Walker is still active. Let's use my strong move now in order to gain as much mech as possible. Get the stagger, but that's fine. And he's down before he was able to get uh, to use the stone needles. Perfect. See it, hi. Don't worry about the thing. I got the Apollyon. Just step back and he protect you. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot easier if he's just uh, stick behind us. Okay. Now. Now we see why the people are inside uh, the houses, so, huh? Hey? <laughs> well, I, I didn't faint. But more importantly, uh, where did the Apollyon go? Didn't I slash him? Did you beat it, Rhino? Did you. Did you faint but. but stand up straight? Did you sleep through that? Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi? <laughs> well, it wasn't really a serious question. I was just trying to get my wits back together. This is the first time I've ever seen you in action, Rido. You've got a surprisingly fierce side to you. Huh. You were right, Rido. That must be... Gareen! Hello there, buddy! How's it going? <laughs> ah, Rido. And you are Miss Kitcher from the capital. Yes. Hello, Gareen. Hmm? I heard an opponent screech, so I was in the process of heading towards the cry. And? Care to provide any theories as to why you're here after washing your hands of the Sugigata clan, Rido? Well, eh... Uh, I need to figure out some more stuff about those guys, you know? And the best lead that we currently have is this village. So yeah. No, the gate of the abyssal realm has opened in the capital? Yes. Sad to say, we're here to find out a little more about the gate. And what it has to do with the song the kids of the Sukigata village sing. Right, Fredo? Yes. Your theory are likely correct. However, we should discuss this more later. As you know, the Apollyon are in the process of invading the village. In theory, the best thing for Miss Kicho's safety would be to head directly to the Fukuroku Inn. The villagers have already finished the process of ev evacuation there. You too should be on your way as well. So they are all hiding in the inn. Is the inn that secure? Oh, Nagi! Please, lower your voices. <sighs> Ain't you that girl that hanged around Giverine? There ain't no time to waste, girl. You've got to come inside with us. I have to remain on guard here. My master told me. Don't bother with her. Ain't no use. She really can't stand up to them. Even though she's supposed to act as the second protector of the village. She's the student of Green, right? What is the meaning of this uproar? And he's upset. Mr. Green! My baby is still in the village. Can you save him before one of them of the Lock Lotus gets him? Her, her child? That Sukigata for she can't seem to handle himself against those critters and no one's seen Akichiro. You're the only hope we got, Mr. Green! So someone failed in the process of trying to escape. Is this ill luck the reason that I can't find him? Hmm? What is it now? Master! Please rest for now. You have us the most important thing now and... No. My theory of how to proceed requires you to stay at the Fuguroku Inn on standby. Protect the refuge here. Do you hear me, Nagi? But what about you? I understand, Master. Hmm. It would be best in theory if our visitors from the capital remained here as well. Are you sure? You just almost keeled over. 
Take Ray, Irene. At least me, right? He's the only one beside you who can go toe to toe with the Apollyon and actually win. With him at your side, I promise you will have an easier time taking down those monsters. Do you concur with this theory, Rhino? Intervening here holds no profit for you. Isn't it theoretically wasteful for you, the Capitol's protector, to expend his effort elsewhere? What? Nah, not at all. I can help wherever I want to. I respect your decision, and I appreciate your assistance, Raido Kusunoha the 14th. No need to thank us. Besides, we need Akachira to tell us more about the Sukigata folklore. That's the spirit, Ray, right? Looks like your mentor taught you well. I'm proud to have you as my pupil. Goto. Goto, the theory you propose is a generous one. I gratefully accept your kind offer. Let us begin the process of saving the villagers together. I'm counting on you, Raido. Okay, so we need to protect the villagers. That's good. The question is, wait a second. Did I just see an encounter raid? It was just yellow. It was clearly yellow. This village has an encounter raid. The village is under attack. Uh-huh. Well, game, let me just save one more time then, huh? Seems like a seems like a good idea. Hi, don't worry about the thing. I'm I'm gonna protect everyone. Hopefully. What does the granny do there? There are still some folks that haven't made it to the inn. Boy, could you please go and find them? Well, off the top of my head, a woman. An old farmer. A young man. I wonder where they might be. Three people? There's a timid one. If I know her, she wouldn't be too far off. That old fella usually closes his farm, but for some reason he ran off to the outs outer village. The man folk likes to pick uh, some vegetables on the mountain. You know where the three setters are, right? They are the in the west mountain. That is where he usually takes his break. Might check them first. Just do whatever you can to help them. Please. You and Garins are the only one who can handle the critters like the Loctus. So one of them is... Oh my god. Oh! Why are you attacking the village? For more things? And you get a blind set attack! That's unfair! At the very least, you have an electric weakness, that's helpful. It doesn't change the fact that I don't like to fight against you guys. You are my mount, my my water carriers. The, the best guy you could possibly ask for. Before I had my dragons, you were so helpful! And now you lost your temper! Good to see that my Makami is able to knock you back into senses, right? Actually speaking, this is a good thing. It would allow me to recruit them as well. If I wanted them at least. And they get a lot of XP as well. Tempting. Very, very tempting. Huh. And nevertheless, once again. Would you be so kind? We need to save the villagers. Okay, there's the girl. That's the shy girl, probably? Maybe? You, you're here to rescue me! Oh, thank god! I was afraid that the lotus was gonna get me! They might. There's an eerie presence that makes my first end up. It can't be! It already f oh, it already found us! It was waiting! Ray, behind you! Don't worry, Makami's here. Makami's always keeping us safe. <laughs> Every time. And I just now noticed that they have a stinger at the back. Are they a mixture of a scorpion? A lotus and a scorpion? Huh. Might be. In a way. This is probably going to play out just the same as the other encounters. So, uh... Unless he does something special, I'm just going to cut a hit. Okay, he jumped. 
That is something special. He's using acid. It's also something special. Ouch! Okay, that does a lot more damage than I thought. How about the deer for me? Okay. How long? Oh! That's unfair! That is so unfair! <laughs> this is so unfair! This is so freaking unfair! <laughs> you can't just... You can't just suddenly do something like that! This is how you play it! This is not how you're supposed to play it! <laughs> Dear, please! Don't get petrified now! He's poking all the way around him! Did, could you get shocked, please? Thank you! I needed that one! Okay! I was about to say! <laughs> I was about to say! Right to temporarily secure the village safety. Good. Two more, right? Two more. A farmer and the guy next to the mountains. The farmer might have run off to the right side of the village. After all, there isn't really that many places in the Sukigata village. And we finally have access to heal. Perfect, because I'm pretty sure that I can't use my mood on against those guys, right? Oh, you beat the huge insect! Yeah! Right to direct the villagers to the Fukuroku Inn. Uh, gotcha. Just please, get rid of all of them. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm trying my best. Come on. And we found another island. Lifestone. Right. So let's see. Ah, there he is. Perfect. Right at the start of the resonant area. You you came to save me? Of course I do. Let's see if there's another insect around. But I can't. She's still around here somewhere. I can't run off without her. I just can't. Wait, who? There's another strangler around here? It's only because I have I had her with me that long. Hard years that have been able to survive, and there ain't none ha worth half as much as the dam anywhere else around. She's the best cow. Oh, <laughs> the best cow ever. Oh, your cow? Well, he does seem to have a soft spot for that thing. I would like to help him, but where, where did it run off to? Hanako! <gasps> you kidnapped the cow? Are you serious? He's heading for the Tendo Springs! I'm coming for you, Hanako! Daddy will save you! Wait, wait, you can't save her! That thing is too strong! My legs! I can move! Hanako! Rescue Hanako on behalf of the elderly Pao? Plower? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I can totally understand. I, I used to have a guardian cow as well. I can understand that you that you really care about your Hanako. You're gonna save Hanako? Of course I do. Hot dog, I wish I was strong enough to do it myself. Please do it. Please go for me. Save my Hanako. Don't worry, I'm going there right away. Is it right behind the doors? Yes, right behind the doors. Okay, this is going to be really quick then. Hey there, Hanako. Are you alright? Are you going to follow me? I need to bring you back to your papa. <laughs> this must be Hanako. Hmm? Oh, of course. Of course you would try to go in my way. Hanako's ready to fight as well. But you don't have to. After all, this is our target. There you go. Not an issue whatsoever. Right to temporarily secure the safety of Hanako. Why are you referring to it all as temporarily? That guy is certainly not able to go for Hanako again. And Garin and Nagi are still around. They're surely going to keep them safe, even if I'm not around there, right? Certainly! Let's boost up our vitality a little bit more. And I really need to heal those guys. They're tanking like a champ, but still. Ah, the Makami is not really the tankiest of my demons, right? Even though he is really handy to have with Marzio and Warcry. 
Oh well. Come on, Hanako. I need to bring you back. Come on. Let's guide her back to that farmer. Wait, do I need to go to the farmer or do I need to go to the inn? Or are you go- Ah, you do it for me. That's even better. Hanako! Oh. Hot dog. I've never gotten to forget this. No, sir. Oh, come on, Hanako. Let's get over to the Fukuroku Inn. I'm gonna be safe now. Even though it's probably hard to explain to the to the other villagers why why you had to bring a cow to the inn, but it's family! I mean you wouldn't leave behind your dog either, right? Cows are just literally the definition of a dog. Did you ever see a plain cow in the field? With a s with one of those race cars? They're adorable! They're actually adorable! <laughs> Okay, and I think that one is the last one, right at the three Siddhas. Okay, one more guy. And I don't even see him, but he has to be around here somewhere. Help me! Hmm? Someone is left behind here too. But where? I can hear his voice, but there's no sign of him. Are you hiding in the trees? Oh yeah, up there in the tree! I was running away from the lotus and ended up here and... Yeah? Well, I don't see an Apollyon anywhere around. Now might be a good time for you to come down. Right to beckons the man to come down. Alright, one second. Yeah? See, I knew it! It's coming from over there! Hmm? Oh, it's still there. <laughs> That's why you were hesitating. What are you standing there for? You gotta get up there. I run up here. Wait. Wait, you think that I would hide? From that thing? No way. I forgot to heal. <laughs> I forgot to heal. Ah, oh, it's fine. Kyaw! My Makami! My Makami almost died! It survived with one HP! Oh god! See? It does it does do a lot of damage. It does do a lot of freaking damage. But not enough to kill him. <laughs> right, Sati? Not enough to kill him. That's very important. Thanks for the sapphire. Always appreciate them. <sighs> oh, I made it. Who would have thought my days of climbing trees uh, as a tot would play, uh, pay off like that, right? And you, it was pretty nice the way you got up there lickety split and saved the day, right? Guess it pays to train when you're young. Raido urged the villagers to evacuate to the Fukuroku Inn. Yeah, go, go. The Fukuroku Inn, that is where everyone is? I was so lonely hiding up there. I'm never going to do that again. You stay clear of the lotus now, okay? Me? I have to stay clear of them? I have to worry about a thing. I'm totally fine. <laughs> Looks like that's, that was the last of them. We should go back to the Fukurin, uh, Fukuroku Inn too. Yeah, we should probably do that. But first and foremost, something very important that I have to do first. Heal up my Makami. A poor guy! He could have. But then again, wait, that hit. I think I healed him, and he still went all the way down to 1 HP. Huh. Kind of ridiculous if you think about it, right? Kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Nevertheless, time to check up on them again. Let's hope that there's not another Lotus attack around the villagers. Hey! The granny is no longer here. Okay. I finally found you. I've been looking all over for you. Have you seen Mr. Green? He headed off to the Tendo Kagura and he ain't coming back. The what? Green? It's all the chief's fault. The chief ain't home and he ain't around here either. So Mr. Green headed to the Tendo Kagura to look for him. What's the chief thinking? Going off and hiding when his village is in danger like this? And he calls himself the chief. I 
Wolverine will be fine. He wouldn't let an Apollyon get the best of him, even though he seems kind of weak that time. Even so, I'm a little worried that he's not coming back yet. Let's go to the Tender Gagura too, to see what we can see. But I would almost say we're going to save that for the next part. After all, I just looked at the time. Yeah, we don't really have that much time left. Let's just take a rest with Tai, and in the next part, we're going to start our search for Garin as well. I really hope that he didn't run into the Lotus again. Because once again, I'm pretty sure at this current time, we are literally the only one who can actually do any damage against them. They might not be able to win against Garin, but he's certainly not able to fight them off either. Right? Oh yeah. Nevertheless, I hope you guys had fun in today's part, and see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye!